Hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I am Jack, and today as the title of sure has given it away, we're talking about the Windows Server uh, Manager. And the Server Manager dashboard in particular. And the reason I want to talk to you about this, I've been setting servers up for years, and sometimes, you know, you log on to your server and the Server Manager comes up, and you'll find that there are uh, some red spots. So let's go ahead right now, we're going to take a look at this Windows Server that I'm working on. So this particular server has uh, some local services that came up red that are not running, okay? And all services, they have a couple services that are not running. So you're looking, you're like, well, how do I fix that? Well, the easiest thing to do first is when a Windows server is booting up, sometimes a service does not have time to initiate uh, in that boot up sequence. Uh, or it may be on the delay, so it does not start. So all we have to do is if you click on the service, itself you'll come up with the uh, service detail view and you can see here where it says uh, maps broker is a service name and uh, one sync for some reason they did not start you can see one sync said delayed start so I'm just going to right click on each one of these and say start service and see if I can't get the service to start that indicates that it will tell me in the boot up sequence if it's just not booting up in the proper sequence it does have enough time to initiate and we'll do the same with the second one we'll click on that one I guess that first one is still trying to start there okay we can see now where it disappeared so we know that it actually started it's not functioning We'll do the same with the second one. We'll start it, and we got them both started. Now you can see that we got the local server uh, service started, and it cleared the all servers. So again, do not panic if you go into your dashboard and you see some red in there. Take a little time, investigate it, and I think this will help you clear that up very easily. So I hope this short video tutorial helped you with the dashboard. And uh, I hope that you stick around. Please subscribe and watch some more of my Windows Server videos to kind of help you along setting up your Windows Server environment. Thanks, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.